So now we're going to, in Windows 95, we're going to find the um, uh, various utilities involved with MIDI uh, for installing drivers. They're all found in Settings Control Panel. The first one we'll look at is Multimedia. There's three, actually. Add New Hardware, Multimedia, and System. Add New Hardware is used to add a new driver. Multimedia is used to have a look at the list of MIDI drivers that you do have installed and possibly uh, remove extra ones from that list. System is used to modify the properties of the drivers like what port address they're using or what IRQ they're using. So let's have a look at my system. We'll run the multimedia. You can see that one of the selections is MIDI. This lists the various drivers that we have. And this is the same list that appears in the Ban in a Box program, uh, which is what we expect. One of them is the Auth32 driver. The second one is the OPL3 FM synthesizer driver for the Sound Blaster. And the third is the MPU401 compatible. So if you uh, find that you uh, uh, have a driver that you expect it to be here and it's not here, then you need to go to add new hardware which will allow you to add a driver. Now when you're adding a driver it'll immediately ask you about this uh, wizard installation. There's two routes to go here. One is a method which will let Windows search your hard drive uh, and actually uh, your whole system to try to find the hardware that you're using. Um, I prefer to not use this method because uh, my experience is that it's better to just uh, make the selections yourself. So this shows you your list of hardware that's installed and uh, the MIDI is grouped into the sound, video, and game controller section. This lists all the drivers here that come with Windows 95 and um, the manufacturers are listed here and the models they have are listed on this side. So if you want to install an MPU-401 driver, you would have to be aware that Microsoft is the pr people that make the MPU-401 compatible driver, and you would install it by just pressing Next. We've already done that, and that's how we got the MPU-401 compatible driver. But now we'll assume that um, you've looked and you don't feel that your driver is one of the ones that comes with um, Windows 95. For example, uh, you can see that the, the Creative Labs 16 and AW32 drivers do come with Windows 95, so you don't need to have a separate disk. But let's say you uh, have new disks uh, from Creative Labs with new drivers, or you've got a brand new sound card that isn't on this list. Then you would just press the Have Disk button and you or the browse location that uh, this uh, driver will be found and you would insert a new disk in. For example if you're using our multi MPU 401 driver you would uh, insert the floppy disk into disk drive A and that's how you would install that uh, driver into Windows and then uh, continue on that basis. Now we'll assume that you've installed the MPU 401 driver but for some reason it's not working and uh, what comes to mind is maybe the port address is set incorrectly or the IRQ is set incorrectly. So you'll be wondering, well, where is this set in Windows? And you need to get into the system uh, properties and get into the device manager, re return to the familiar sound, video, and game controllers, and these are all the, the game controllers and sound controllers. So here's the MPU-401 compatible and if you just press the properties from here and the resources will tell you that the port address here that I've set is 320 which is the usual settings 330 we needed to set it to 320 which meant also changing the card to 320 and the IRQ request we needed to set is 3 which is also an unusual setting. Typically you'll see 330 and IRQ2 and uh, you can change the values here by clicking uh, up and this sort of thing but um, 
hopefully uh, the default settings that are installed will be will be good enough if they're not you've obviously got to change these things to uh, settings don't use the settings that I've uh, put here as any kind of indication this is a bit of an unusual uh, setup we needed to do on this uh, computer